Hello everybody, it's Trish here uh, for your Sunday night live session. All right, let's give it a few moments till people come on. I'll just um, pop on here and just share it around a little bit. And by the way, feel free to uh, share this around. Let me just share this now share it there oh hey we've got people coming on welcome 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 and share it to a group welcome 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 everybody and i also want to share it to the page all right beautiful well, I'm here once again, enjoying your company on a Sunday night uh, on Trish Rock. And tonight we are going to be talking about intuition. Do you trust it? If yes, why yes? If no, why no? So that's really what the discussion will be tonight. Uh, and it has actually come up. Uh, not just for me, but for many of my clients and also some um, some people today have requested that too. So, you know, it's an interesting it's an interesting topic, isn't it? Because ultimately we are all intuitive. All of us. We've all got gifts and skills and talents, and we all can tune in to that inner voice, that inner messaging service if you like hey joe hey natasha <laughs> hey trisha nice hey bevy who else is here sue hey sue how you doing so you know it's one of those things we are all intuitive let me see who else is on zamani hello Natasha, I definitely trust my intuition. I tried to ignore it. I was, I was taught that lesson. Yeah, we were taught to ignore it, even in, you know, even in those little ways. Like at school, I was a daydreamer. I'm still a daydreamer, right? So at school or in those institutions, church, it's like stop daydreaming, and you know, come back down to earth. But it's in the daydreams, it's in the getting out of the mind that we can really tune in to our intuitive self. And yes, I agree, Natasha, we, for many of us, have had that kind of, uh, you know, booed and, and kind of... Uh, not taken away because no one can take anything away from us, but we've we've lost our trust in it, in that innate ability that we've all got to bring messages to ourselves and also to others should you wish to do that. So let's see. Hey, happy Sunday, Bevy. <laughs> happy Sunday. So yeah, so that's what I want to talk about tonight. And, you know, there are a lot of ways that we don't trust our intuition and there are a lot of ways that we can receive it. So some of the ways that we receive it are with those little nudges, those little gut instincts, those, those kind of even down to really tiny things, like if you're cooking, right, and you say to yourself, oh, did I put that in? You know, even that is not a something to do with your memory. That's an intuitive nudge. But those little things we listen to, right? So then when we ask the question, what should we do next? Should we go here? What's our best option? What, um, you know, what's the answer? What's the solution? We get all of those messages to help us in those instances as well, but we don't trust it, we don't listen. And then we feel that spirit or universe has forsaken us because they're not answering our prayers. So just a couple of little exercises for you this week. Who else have we got on? Hey, Michelle. 
Trisha, I tend to ignore it and realise I was being told something either important or just simple things that I end up saying, wow, I knew that. Yeah, absolutely, Trisha. Isn't that so common? I still do that, right? There are still moments where I don't trust that inner voice and then it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> now I get it, right? We all have those moments uh, and being aware of it is really important. Natasha, problem I have when you're too invested emotionally, it's hard to hear the message. Absolutely. Hey, Michelle. Absolutely, Natasha. And this is something that I work with clients with. When you're really emotionally charged or invested or you have a picture of how you want the situation to be, you do not listen to those intuitive prompts or they come in and you kind of just go, yeah, no. <laughs> right? And that is a big issue with many of us um, and still with me sometimes. We're all learning and, you know, it's, it's, it's a real opportunity to get out of your own way and to really say, okay, I'm picturing the outcome like this but I'm going to trust and I'm going to step aside and I'm just going to allow it to unfold the way that the universe or spirit can unfold it because it will be a greater way than I can unfold it. So you need to kind of step aside and go, okay, even though my vision is this, I'm going to trust these intuitive prompts and I'm going to see what unravels. And ultimately underneath all of that, guys, is how do you want to feel? Ultimately underneath every vision, every thing you have, every outcome you want is a feeling that you want, right? So if you can have that feeling, does it really matter how the universe delivers it to you? Does it really matter how it shows up? We get so invested in a particular thing, looking a particular way. But what we want is the feeling. We need to let go of the rest. And when we don't, we get big intuitive kicks from the universe. <laughs> I've had a few in the last few weeks. Oh, hey, good evening, Sandra. Trisha, my intuition helped me in a DV situation and ended up saving my life. Yeah, absolutely, Trisha, and I'm so pleased you listened to it. Um, and here's one of the reasons that you may have listened to it towards the end. It's because you were at that point where nothing else was working. Yeah, and I'm really pleased. Hey, Jane, how are you going? Hello, Penny. Hello, Arlene. Who else have we got on? Danny. Hey, Danny. Penny, you know about those, yeah. <laughs> the universal kicks. <laughs> it just allows us to trust ourselves a bit more, but, um, you know, at the time, um, and for me, really, what's, you know, what it's helped me with is getting out of my own way. And what does that even mean? It means dropping the resistance, dropping the resistance to how you think the picture will look and allowing the universe to paint the picture. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key there. But your intuitive prompts uh, will help you with that. Now, another couple of ways that we receive messages is uh, through our clear cognizance, which is our inner knowing. Now, uh, I think we can all tune into this, but once again, we don't trust it. Uh, and this can be just to the small kind of gut feelings, but can also be to other things that you just happen to know, but you don't know how you know them. And this happened to me in the beginning when, um, you know, there are a lot of things that come to me and I have no idea how I know them. But when you're out there, you know, in the firing line of judgment and criticism, you feel like you need backup. You feel like you need um, credibility as to how you know these things, right? There are some things that, that I know that I've never studied. 
and it took me a while to, to talk about them because I felt I needed some type of piece of paper, like a degree or something, right, to prove that I knew this stuff. And I think for many of us it's the same. But if you can really trust yourself and that stuff that comes up in your head, I mean, ultimately uh, our clear cognizance will um, give us all the, all the answers, right? We know more than we think we know. And those answers, if you just allow them to come and allow them to flow, uh, you will... Uh, you will really find solutions where you thought there were none. Um, and for some of you, if you're trivia buffs, <laughs> you do really well at trivia nights, right? If you trust that clear cognizance. Now, the other, um, the other ways that we receive messages are through outside sources, um, like songs, people who you meet, um, different experiences that happen, someone who might cross your path, an animal that might cross your path, a number, a colour. These are all inner messages as well and they will prompt you to really uh, tune in to what it was you're thinking when you saw it or when you experienced it. So that's another way to really tune in. And I do that in all sorts of situations. Um, but, you know, especially when I'm driving, though, and I see numbers, I, and I see a number plate with a number, with a certain number, I'm like, oh, okay, that's a message from spirit. What am I thinking right now? Is it something I want or am I thinking about lack? And it just tunes you back in to... Um, you know, the best thoughts, the better thoughts. All right, what else have we got? Hey, Sonia. All right, I often hear spirit or just know things. Yeah, absolutely, Sonia. I used, it used to cause uncertainty, but now I accept the guidance. Absolutely, Sonia, that's living in full trust. And we all have that ability. And I'm so pleased that you're trusting that now. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Natasha, it starts off as a whisper and gets louder and louder and it screams and then it kicks and then the lesson unfolds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, absolutely, Tricia. Hey, Sally. Surrender to the universe as it ebbs and flows. Do you know, it's the hardest thing to do, isn't it? Because all of us here as humans, we've got the ego, we've got our idea of how we want things to be. So to simply trust and let things unroll is really against our human nature. So there's always that kind of battle going on between the, the human part of us and the spirit part of us. Uh, but if you can, you know, silence that mind when you are having those trust issues with your intuition, then it becomes louder for you and you can really move forward um but you know certainly it's always good too to just take little steps you know take little leaps of faith because they will lead you to the big ones they will lead you to the big ones you get that a lot Arlene yeah yeah absolutely Sally yeah Penny trust yourself it's the hardest thing for us to do isn't it to trust ourselves because as we're growing up we're told not to we're told we're not, we can't trust ourselves. We're told we have to believe other, other, other stuff, not, not our own belief. So it's very hard. We have to remember <laughs> who we actually are. That's our whole journey here. <laughs> Trisha, when I would wake in the morning, I would feel like I was to wear jeans that day and I wouldn't listen, so I'd wear a skirt. Then when my partner came home, we'd get into a fight and I'd be on the ground being choked. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I hope you've um, left that partner. I hope you've left that partner, uh, Trisha, because you should be able to wear whatever you want to wear. Okay. Uh, Sonia, butterfly today. Yeah. What do butterflies remind you of, Sonia? 
for me, butterflies are transformation. And depending on the colour of the butter, butterfly, sometimes um, I feel it's my mum giving me confirmation on something. So what do butterflies mean for you? Um, when I'm doing readings for people, um, it's always about transformation and the unfolding of the new. So it, they mean different things to different people. Um, Penny, I'm listening more to those little signs more now than ever. Yeah, absolutely, Penny. Um, hey, Katrina. Hi, Charlotte. How are you doing? So, yeah, look, you know, the intuition is, um, is something that we can all tune into and we all actually do. We just don't listen to it and um, uh, it's... It's in those little instances like, you know, choosing something or um, what direction to go in your car, little things like that. But you're also being guided and directed for the big things. And often in, those, in the big decisions, the guidance will be the scary option <laughs> because the logic wants you to be safe. So if you've got... A, cross, a crossroads and you really don't know which way to go in this fork in the road, you'll have one voice guiding you the safe way and you'll have the other voice. Trust the other voice because the safe way is your, look, sometimes that's the best way, <laughs> but it's, it's usually your fear guiding you in a safe direction. And, um, you know, safe is not always expansive. So uh, it trust, trust yourself to take a chance sometimes uh, on those messages you're getting and any loved ones or spirit that shows up or any of those gut feelings or even sometimes I get chills, goosebumps. Sometimes a part of my body will ache like someone's poking it right? Listen to all of those. And whenever you're trying to make a decision, be aware of everything that happens around you. Now, when I'm doing a reading, I tune in to whatever happens. You know, if someone drops something, if there's a, a bug going past, is there is there a siren? Does someone honk their horn? You know, I listen to all of those because they're all giving me prompts they're all giving me different messages and this happens for you too so when you're making a decision that's important really tune in and feel into what spirit is trying to tell you as well and if it's not obvious pull a card or whatever the first song is that comes on the radio or open a book, whatever the first writing is, it will always guide you to what you need to know. Okay, who else do we have on here? And Charlotte, you are looking absolutely stunning these days, I have to, I have to say. You look amazing. You look amazing. Penny, you get a lot of numbers. Yeah, numbers are great because they all have different meanings. So when they come up, you can just kind of tune in and go, okay, what was I thinking? Do I need more boundaries? Do I need to, um, you know, expect change? Do I need to review something? Do I need to be thinking abundance rather than lack? It will really help you tune in to what your actual thoughts are. Hello, Monica. Sonia, transformation, new beginnings in growth and butterflies. Yeah, absolutely, Sonia, yeah. Natasha, butterfly means to me guide, guided to your higher self. Final transformation. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hi, Arlene. <laughs> yes, love it. It's sometimes it is ego that shouts at us, Sonia. Sometimes it is. So how do you differentiate between ego and spirit? You have to tune in and you have to trust the one that feels most like joy one that feels most like love, the one that feels right. That's how you know. Absolutely. I'm trying to teach my daughter to trust her intuition and those signs we get daily. Yeah, absolutely, Penny. Absolutely. 
Yeah, take take the logic and the scary one. Yeah, most of us do go with the logic, right? But sometimes the scary one will lead us on a more interesting path. <laughs> a bit more adventure, I say. <laughs> Hello, Alison. Hello, Kim. She's 16, Penny. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Um, hey, Charlene. Oh, you're welcome, Charlotte. <laughs> Penny, you see a lot of ones. Ones are about, uh, yeah, Natasha. Ones are about manifesting and new beginnings. So if you see a lot of ones, just check in with what you're thinking when you see the ones because it's a little reminder that whatever you're thinking about comes about. The universe will always give you whatever you're asking for. And if you've got, for instance, in your mind, you know, I'll never meet a man, all the good ones are taken, the universe will prove that to you and you'll never meet anyone. So if you're thinking something like that and you see a whole heap of ones, just take notice of that and go, oh, okay, I need to change that thought and I need to think something different, you know, like um, there are lots of men who want to be in a relationship with me. Or whether it's about money, whether it's about health, ones are about manifesting so whatever you're thinking about at that time you're manifesting so is it something you want is it something you don't want that's really what I check in with all right that's you Sally the scary path that's me too right and people say oh, you're so brave you take you know you're just always doing brave things but for me taking the sensible way doesn't actually make sense to me I mean for the adventure but, you know, there's lots of falls in the adventure too. All right. Spirit message to me tonight was self-worth. Yes, yeah, Sonia. We're all being called to more self-worth. Yeah. Oh, Penny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're all being called to more self-worth. And everything that happens to us is another piece in the puzzle um, on that journey of, um, of self-worth. And when we truly believe in ourselves, when we truly love who we are, we're not looking for that from anything outside of us. And the solutions really come very quickly because we know it's up to us. It's not up to somebody else to come along and make us happy or make us feel good. It's up to us. So let me pull some cards for you beautiful people tonight i've got my shining angels deck here now before we start um i want to talk to you about what's in the description i've got readings for 80 dollars australian so if you are outside of australia it will be less than 80 dollars. so it's 80 dollars australian I think it's probably about 60 bucks US um, because it's my birthday week. So up until the 11th of July midnight or until all of my bookings are done for this coming week, um, you can get a one hour reading for $80. Now the booking link is in the description. I've got just a few left. So um, if you want to book in for this week for my birthday week special, please do so. And um, next Sunday, and I'll remind you all at the end as well, next Sunday is actually my birthday. So we're going to have a fun show. I've got some gifts and some giveaways um, lined up for you all and I'm super excited about it. Um, so we're going to have a couple of little competitions where you're going to be sharing and tagging and um, yeah, I really um, look forward to that and having some fun and giving away some stuff for my birthday. And speaking of which, I'm turning 55 this year, which is all about change and I'm super excited. So that's next Sunday. I may have some. Uh, I may have some um, things to do before next Sunday, like on the event page. So make sure you're registered for the event for next week, because there might be some challenges there where you can win some things as well. Okay, so make sure you're part of the event so that you get the messages, and um, yeah, make sure you pop on next Sunday night 
for my birthday show. It'll be exciting. <laughs> I might even wear a birthday hat. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can find a fun filter. All right. You are getting there, Penny. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey Gabby, how are you doing? All right, Natasha, this this first one's for you. All right, what have we got for Natasha? Oh, there it is, Natasha. All right, we've got the King of Swords. This is real clarity for you, Natasha. This is clarity. The King of Swords is very clear about where he is going. Very clear in communication. Very clear in the mind about what he wants, what he or she wants, and what it is moving forward. So I'm also seeing here, um, there's a lot of fire. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of fire around that sword there. So for me, this is some clarity for you, Natasha, about your passion or about your career or about something that really lights you up. I feel this week there'll be that clarity for you and um, trust that when it comes because it's no accident that this has come up for you and we're talking about trust. Trust that clarity when it comes up because it's going to lead you in a beautiful direction. And there's also balance here. It's like justice, it's like balance, it's fairness. So something definitely coming up for you this week, Natasha. Uh, yeah. Um, the other thing with that clarity is that when you really get clear and you've kind of got that burning desire be behind that clarity, uh, sometimes um, the balance gets, it gets out of balance and you're kind of, you know, all movement forward, all passion, but you need to also be grounded in that too. So, so keep the balance there too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, Monica. Yes. Oh, oh, I'll do a card for you. All right. Let's see what comes up for you, Monica. Oops. well there it is all right we've got the nine of pentacles monica this is actually a beautiful abundant card can't really see it there there we go this is really a beautiful abundant card the nine of pentacles is um is i say abundance but i need to explain the abundance pentacles is the physical it's about money it's about possessions, it's about your home, it's about health, it's about feeling safe and secure, it's about everything in the physical. So for you with this coming up, I feel there's something turning, there's something changing for you and you're going to have a lot more safety and security in the physical. Um, now, I'm sensing like there's water here going towards this structure. Um, I'm really sensing you've there's some emotional stuff that's going on here, Monica. That has um, that has just pu pushed you off balance. So you need to get. I don't know if you can see that. See, that's a pyramid. It's like a structure. You need to get some structure back in your life again in the area of. Um, safety and security so whatever that means for you i'm sensing it's money but it's not necessarily if anyone else is watching and receiving this message as well doesn't have to be money it could be health monica for you i'm feeling it's money you need some new structure I'm trying to get the light on there <laughs> you need some new structure around money so that you can build that security back again okay so um put some new foundations in place and put some new emotion into those foundations because if you build new foundations with the same emotion that got you out of balance you will still be out of balance right you need to build some new foundations for safety and security with new emotions of 
knowing it's true, knowing you can build that for yourself, leaving the old behind and stepping into the new. Okay, so I hope that's helped, Monica. Hey, Sandra. Oh, thank you, Arian. Yeah, happy birthday next Sunday. Woohoo! I'm hoping to um, have a lot of you on. <laughs> All right, Penny, I'm going to pull a card for you. Well, there it is. <laughs> Penny, we've got the Knave of Wands. This is something new for you, Penny. The Knave is starting. It's, it's a, he's a student. He's learning. And wands, you can see here, this new growth, this new life, something new that you're creating. Now, wands can be uh, work, passion, business, um, whatever you, lights your fire, whatever you're passionate about is represented with the wands. So I feel for you here that um, there's been some healing and it's time for you to, to start this growth again, Penny. It's time for you to start this growth again. There's lots, there's lots of new blooms coming here. I feel you're still in a little bit of a learning stage. So just breathe into it uh, and just really be present and just watch as just watch as all the miracles and all of the events unfold and just know that it's all part of this new path for you okay oh thank you Sonia happy birthday yay <laughs> oh and cake yes I should have some cake here too right and blow a candle out oh thank you Sue <laughs> Oh, Penny, you're a year older than me. How was your 55th year? Was it full of change? <laughs> My daughter's birthday is the second and I get to eat cake. Yay! So I've got a daughter on the day after me on the 8th. I've also got a granddaughter on the 8th. So um, that's exciting. I never forget their birthdays. <laughs> All right. Sonia, 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 Sonia. Let me pull a card for you. Well, there it is. <laughs> I should pop the camera down a little bit. As you guys know, I don't really pull these cards. They fly out. We've got the Three of Wands, Sonia. This is usually about um, new opportunities. It's kind of like a, um, it's like a gateway. It's a gateway of new opportunities. Lots of new growth here too. Now, the thing I'm really being drawn to is the blue. I'm really being drawn to this blue pendant. This is about authenticity, speaking up, expressing yourself from the heart. And when you, can, when you have the courage to do that, and it's not always easy, when you come from a good loving intention and you speak your truth, it creates opportunities to receive new from the universe. It's kind of like a reward, but don't see it as a reward because if that doesn't happen, then you'll say, oh, you know, I was ripped off. <laughs> Just know that when you open yourself up, the universe will bring beautiful things to you. And I can see new things starting here for you. Once again, we've got the wands, this beautiful new blooms there, Sonia. So... Uh, really tune in to this um, intuition, right? Three is also about communication and three is um, collaboration too. So I think there's some exciting new things uh, coming for you, Sonia. Uh, you would need to receive them. So your work is to receive. And how do you receive? Be open to whatever comes and uh you know let the universe know that you're ready to receive and when something comes don't say oh that's not what i wanted if it comes and it's something that's uncomfortable just say wow that's interesting what am i learning here right and just keep on receiving there's definitely some new opportunities opening up for you sonia <laughs> all right 
Who else have we got here? Penny. Yay. Hey, Penny. Okay. Let me, can I just pull a card for you before, Penny? I can't remember. Isn't that terrible? My mind's gone blank. I don't think I have. Let me pull a card for you, Penny. If I have, then you get two. <laughs> I just can't remember. It's not normally like me. Anyway, I'm just going with it. You see, I'm trusting it. I'm trusting it. All right, Penny. Six of Wands. Isn't it interesting, guys, that these wands are coming up? Wands is about new growth, new work, new passion, new purpose. We're all being called to our authentic truth and what we really love to do. And the universe is rearranging things so that we can have that. Now, the Six of Wands um, in the normal um, deck is the Victory card, Penny. Woohoo! And in this card, this, this deck, it really is a beautiful gateway. Look at you there looking through your window of opportunity. I really feel you'll be celebrated this week for um, an achievement of some type, something you've been working on, something that has gone unrecognised before and you haven't felt that anybody was interested, I feel you'll be recognised this week for some work that you've done and it will really boost your confidence to produce even more of that work or to improve on it. So whatever that is for you, I think it's going to be a beautiful week. <laughs> tune in to definitely tune into your intuitive prompts because um, spirit will be guiding you here um, in an obvious way, they're saying. So look out for the obvious. That will be your messages. Okay. All right. Arlene, hello. Let me card for you Ali. Let's grab a drink. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet but those um those little tea bags that you get for cold water oh my god they're the best thing ever this one is the watermelon one oh, this is so delicious <laughs> so if you haven't tried them go try them you can get them from the supermarket in the tea section it's beautiful just throw one in your drink bottle it's all natural bits of fruit and stuff it's really yummy all righty this is for Arlene king of pentacles we've got some powerful cards coming up tonight for you guys all right the king of pentacles is somebody who's very confident in his in him in himself and is very giving and very loyal it's an earth sign and you can see here is very stable very secure and happy to help other people and is really listening to the intuitive um, guides that are around him. So Arlene, how does this relate to you? I actually feel that you will be on the receiving end of someone like this this week. Now, whether this is a mentor that's going to show up in your life, whether it is somebody who's going to offer you money somebody who's going to borrow, lend you money, somebody who's going to give you money. Uh, it could also be a solution to a health problem. I'm picking up, Ali. So somebody is going to give you the answer uh, or the solution uh, this week and you can really trust this person. They're coming from the heart, from a good place and good intentions. So if you are on the receiving end of something, please receive it this week. You can trust it. You can trust it. Uh, and it, it really will be the beginning of something. I'm actually really seeing like a butterfly on his chest there. So it really will be the beginning of something new for you, more solid, something more solid for you, Arlene. So look out for that. Okay, who else have we got? Yeah, beautiful, Natasha. Your art is your passion. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, Michelle, let me pull a card for you. Well, ah, come back, come back. <laughs> All right. 
All right, what have we got before Michelle? I'm coming out everywhere, Michelle. <laughs> you did lots of messages. Oh, that's the one? Okay, that's the one. Nine of Cups. Beautiful. This is real emotional fulfillment, Michelle. This is beautiful. I love this. So there's a few things here. We've got um, we've got you here with somebody else looking at all of the beautiful emotional cups up here, radiating their light on the water. Now we've also got a guide here. You know, I'm just really sensing here something opening up. Um, something opening up here for you this week could be a new relationship could be a new relationship um just tuning into what else they're saying and the nine of cups is de is is definitely emotional um you know it's it's the height of emotions emotional fulfillment emotional happiness so if it's not a new relationship it's a new level of emotional happiness that you're going to reach within yourself like peace i'm kind of sensing you know you know when you're at the beach and you're watching the moon over, or the sun over the water it's very peaceful it's very calming it's very in the moment it kind of feels like you're back home that's the feeling i'm getting i feel like home so whatever that means for you this week, Michelle, but I feel it's going to be a beautiful week. It'll be obvious to you as well. You won't have to go looking for this message. It will be obvious. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Natasha. You're welcome. Hey, Sonia. Yes, I pulled a card for you. Hey, Sue. And Penny, I pulled a card for you too. Okay, Sue. What have we got for Sue? All right, Sue, we've got the judgment card for you. Now, the judgment card is about letting go of all of those old judgments you have for yourself. So this is for you, Sue Cooper. Uh, this week I feel you're going to feel some freedom from that. Usually the judgment card is the guy there with the trumpet and he has old skeletons falling off him. It's all the old. This one, we've got all these guides and beautiful um, people coming up from the water celebrating you. So, Sue, I really feel that there's going to be a shift in you this week and you're really going to be celebrating um, yourself See, these people are all coming up out of the graves here. <laughs> so that's really what the judgment card is, is, like, you know, putting those old thoughts and those old things that you say about yourself to rest because they're not true. In this one, they're coming up from the grave. They're kind of celebrating that you've moved forward. So, um, and I'm also seeing just these top, the, 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 the Roman numerals of um, 20, I'm seeing them as two kisses. <laughs> So, Sue, so I just feel you're going to be really loving yourself up this week. I feel there'll be a new sense of self around you and you're going to start actually celebrating yourself rather than putting yourself down. So that's always good, always good. All right. You're welcome, Monica. You're welcome. Alison, let me pull a card for you. Alison, all right, what do we got? Alison, we've got the Three of Swords. This is typically a card with that, with the heart and the Three Swords going in it. Alison, what I'm seeing here for you is, um, because this deck is a little bit different, what I'm seeing here for you is that there is some type of um, argument or stalemate going on here. And I really feel that you're going to bring some clarity and some closure to it. And it's, it's not going to be an easy task, but I feel you have the wherewithal to do it. 
So whether this is an indecision in your own life and you're going to find some clarity and draw that line in the sand, or whether it's um, some miscommunication around you, I feel that you're going to solve this cutting issue this week is the words I'm getting, cutting issue. So, uh, and you've got the strength and the willpower to do it, Alison. So you're very capable. Three is about communication and collaboration. So you definitely have the energy behind you this week to either put a stop to your indecision or put a stop to some, some cutting argument that's going on around you. Okay. Kim, Kim Snip, let me pull one of these for you. Yay, Penny. <laughs> All right. Uh, who is this for again? Kim. Kim, we've got the five of wands for you. The five of wands often means petty arguments at work, Kim, or within your own mind. Once again, it's displayed differently in this deck. However, I do feel that you've got a lot of ideas that you want to implement, but because you've got so many of them, you're not implementing any of them. So Kim, I want you to draw a line in the sand this week as well and write down all of these things that you want to do and get to the top one, the one that would mean the most to you. And don't let the others go, but focus on one and take the first step. Take the first step this week. It's time. And here's the other thing, and this is for all of you. When we've got a lot of stuff going through our head, oh, I want to do this, want to do this, want to do this. Oh, but I just can't do them all. I don't have the time. That is self-sabotage. And if you want to move forward from that self-sabotage and actually achieve one of these things, because they're not going to go away, if you want to achieve one of these things and get it off your list, write it all out and choose one to focus on and take the first step. You know, I'm often like this. I've, I've got a zillion ideas going through my head. But you can't be working on more than one or two things at once because you self-sabotage and you don't take a step forward on any of them. So um, who was that for? Kim. Kim, choose one thing and take a step forward this week. That's my message for you. Gabby, 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 Gabby. Let me pull a card for you. What does Gabby need to know? Well, that one flew out. <laughs> Interesting. You've got the six of wands as well. I can't believe you guys are seeing me shuffle. All of the wands cards that are flying out tonight is amazing. Um, oh, Penny. <laughs> Thank you. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Um, all right. I need to, I can't scroll back. I've forgotten who this is for. Just let me get back on my phone here. Sorry, all of the messages have just gone too fast for me. Let me get back on here and see who I'm reading for. I've forgotten already. <laughs> all right, where are we? Where are we? Okay, comments. Comments, comments, comments. Um, Gabby. <laughs> That's it. All right, let me just mute this. All right, Gabby, this is for you. Once again, we've got the celebration card. You're going to be celebrating this week about something. This is usually the victory card, and look at that smug look. Uh, I feel you're, they're saying you're going to be awarded with something. So if that happens, please let me know what the award's for and what, what, why, what it is. But there's definitely something. Look at that smile. Look at that smile, Gabby. Look how happy that is. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I've done a good job and I deserve to be celebrated. So something coming your way this week as well, um, Gabby, in work or business or something you're passionate about. Could be some new offers coming in too, this thing. So beautiful. I love that. <laughs> 
Oh, hello, Adi. Oh, thank you. I'm so pleased you enjoyed that self-sabotage week. Yeah, it really is a very powerful challenge. I'll be doing the next one in a couple of weeks' time. So I'll pop up the links next time um, uh, Next time we get on. Um, all right. Colin, hello. I'm worried about my nan want a better life for her okay Colin let me see what comes up for you the first thing I've been prompted to say Colin is that the life you have visioned for your nan is different to the life she has visioned for herself and the life she currently has visioned for herself may very well um, uh, be what brings her joy that, yeah, so let me pull a card and let's see what comes up for you and your man. Oh, once again, once again, seriously, guys, this is no accident. Here's a, here's a really good way to learn how to trust the universe. <laughs> when this used to happen and the same card kept flying out, I just would put it back. i go, oh, well, obviously. But you saw me shuffling and this, this card jumped out again. This is for you, Colin. If you are um, if you are looking to organise something for your nan this week, there will be a victory in that. Um, I think something's coming this week that that you'll be able to celebrate. Uh, but please keep in mind that um, there are some things about your nan's life that she's quite happy with, even though you feel she's not. So just keep that in mind. But I feel that there'll be something coming this week that you've been waiting for uh, and it'll be a, a small win of sorts. Okay. Who else? Oh, Gabby. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay, good health, Gabby. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Bevy, let me pull a card for you, Bevy. That's all right. Hello, Poppy. Who else have we got here? Perla. Lots of people. Lots of people on. All right. Now just remember if um, if I don't choose you in particular for a reading, just remember that the messages, um, other messages for other people also have a meaning for you. All right, Bevy, this is for you. The Ten of Wands. Once again, the Wands. The Ten of Wands really is... Um, heralding in the new it really is the 10 is reduces to one it's the start of something new um in the typical deck it's um you know it's 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 kind of heaviness but in this deck it's a celebration it's a gateway look at that bevy it's kind of like you know we've, we've oh let me do this properly we've got down here and up here it's kind of like a little like a hallway, like a tunnel, like a um, walkway for you to, to go through this week. And you've got a lot of support, they're saying to me. Look at this one here, holding hands here with someone you love. You've got a lot of support moving forward, Bevy. And uh, you're definitely um, starting to blossom here they're saying with something and you're going to see the results this week of taking that first step forward take that first step forward and take the next and take the next the path will show you the way <laughs> okay all right oh thank you poppy oh you're welcome penny oh thank you penny yes it is going to be a big week, but a joyful week. You're welcome, Colin. I hope that made sense for you. Hello, Brian. Hey, Debbie. Oh, awesome, Bevy. That's great. All right. Um, just let me see here. I've just got so many messages. I can't see all of the messages. Sorry, guys, but I'm trying to keep up with um, most of them. All right. <clears throat> Poppy, I'm going to um, read a card for you, Poppy. Whoops. All right, what do we need to know? For? Oh, my goodness, they're flying out everywhere. <laughs> what do we need to know for Poppy? 
All right, there it is. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles in the typical tarot is, um, you know, is, is about balance. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. In this particular deck, it's about balance once again. Now, Six is, um, is trusting. Six is spirit. Six is really tuning in and being in the moment and being present. So, Poppy, this is about presence this week for you. It's about grounding, feeling safe, solid, secure, and it's about getting some balance here in your physical life, whether that's health or whether that's with your finances or home. It's about getting some structure here so that when you are up, you feel safe. And when you are down, you feel safe. The structure here. And, um, you know, sometimes you are up and sometimes you are down. But if you've got a good structure, you will always feel supported. So that's your mission this week, Poppy. <laughs> Hello, Danny. All right, I'll pull a card for you, Danny. Hello, Kim. Oh, I'm so pleased you joined in. And uh, thank you for helping me with the theme of tonight of trust and trusting in your guidance. Um, and Kim, you did ask me, you know, how did I learn to, how did I learn to trust my intuition? And all I can say is practice. You have to practice it. You've got to take that first step in trusting something and then trust the next. Now, some of the messages that, you know, that come to me when I'm reading cards for you guys, um, I used to question them, right? I used to question them. So my readings were a little bit um, clunky, right? And then I would not say the messages that came to me and they're the most important ones even though I thought they weren't. So I really had to get out of my own way there. And whatever comes, comes, and I say it. And sometimes the most littlest thing that I think is insignificant means the most to the person I'm reading for. So you've got to have that trust in yourself and do it step by step, okay? And it's really practice. Anything we get good at is about practicing it and actually doing it right we don't really know something and we unless we experience it we have to get in there and take the first steps um all right now who's this for this is for danny well oh, there it is no too many <laughs> this is for danny all right and i just want to thank you guys once again for all the support you give me here on sunday nights it's wonderful and i love talking about a topic i love doing readings but i like to have a theme and talk about a topic um, and just for those of you who've come on late please check the description um, of the of this post uh, because it is my birthday week and next Sunday we're going to have a birthday special uh, but if you would like a reading this week I've got a handful of spots left for an hour reading for $80 they're normally 120 right so if you want to book in and lock in a reading this week you've only got till well I've only got a handful of appointments left this week so um, you've really only got till about the 11th unless they're sold out so message me or use the booking link. All right, Danny. What have we got for Danny? Oh, there it is. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a tough one. So, Danny, this is saying that... that um, this is saying that you're being a little bit stubborn here with a decision you need to make. So I've got two here. We've got the Eight of Swords and we've got the Seven of Chalices. Um, Danny, this is telling me immediately that you are trapped in thought and you don't know how you want to feel. So here's my advice, Danny. Please get some something to write on and write down all the areas of your life and how you want to feel in relationship, in family, in career, in spiritual, in money, all the different areas of your life, how do you want to feel? 
And when you know, when you know how you want to fill those cups up in your life, when you know how you want to feel, you will be able to get out of this prison of thought that is consuming you. When you're in, when your mind is consuming you, you can't move forward into something that brings you joy. So that's my message for you, Danny. Write down how do you want to feel moving forward in each area of your life and then meditate, get out into nature, listen to music, do something that gets you into your heart and out of your head. And the way forward will become clear. Okay? Alrighty. Hello, everybody who's just joining us. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're just going to do one more. Oh, thank you, Bevy. <laughs> I love it. Look forward to it. Yeah, see what comes past. Oh, thank you, Penny. Yeah. All right, last one. Angela Neal. Angela. All right. And so, yeah, I hope you guys can all join me next Sunday. It's going to be fun. I've got giveaways. I've got gifts for you. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Um, I'm not quite sure of everything I'm going to do yet, but we'll, we'll see. It'll, it'll be good. All right, who is this for again? Angela. Angela, we've got the hanged man. Angela, this is calling you to see something from a different point of view. I feel you're stuck. I feel you're stuck and you keep revisiting the same vision. You keep revisiting the same thought, the same thing that happened, the same result, the same, the same, the same. You need to look at this from a different point of view. Uh, you can't solve the problem that you've got with the same thinking. You need to look at this from a different perspective. So walk away from it give it a break give it a break for two days whatever it is give it a break for two days angela and then revisit it with different eyes and see it from a different point of view and that's where the answer will be for you that's where the solution is okay you've got to see things from a different point of view otherwise you're just going to keep hanging in the balance and the answer won't come so please try that for me. Let it go for two days. Come back and revisit, okay? Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you, everybody. I love your support. I love being here on Sunday nights. Thank you to Spiritual Events Directory. And um, I will see you all next Sunday for my birthday. Remember, if you want a reading at just $80 Australian, please click the link and book in only got a few left and I would love to do that for you um, otherwise have an amazing week and I'll see you next week bye